Hey kiddos, it's Mr. Scott. I'm here on the back porch uh, in my house. Many of you have never seen this before. Probably none of you have ever seen this before. But here we are. This is where I spend a lot of my time these days since we can't be at school because the weather's been really nice and I've been out here a lot. So, But I thought for just a minute we could sing a couple of our favorite songs and then I have a story that I'd like to share with you. Okay? So first I thought we would sing... I'm being swallowed by a boa constrictor, and Leanne, my daughter over here, is going to help us because I don't have anybody here to sing back to me when, when we're singing this song, so she's going to help out a little bit. So, all right, here we go. I'm being swallowed by a boa constrictor. I'm being swallowed by a boa constrictor. I'm being swallowed by a boa constrictor And I don't like it very much Oh no, oh, no. He swallowed my toe He swallowed my toe Oh gee Oh gee He's up to my knee He's up to my knee Oh my Oh my He swallowed my thigh He swallowed my thigh And I don't like it very much He's up to my middle. He's up to my middle. Oh heck. Oh heck. He swallowed my neck. He swallowed my neck. Oh dread. Oh dread. He's up to my gulp. And I don't like it very much. <coughs> All right. Very good. Now, Mr. Scott's been doing a lot of different things here than, than he does normally during the week. I've been spending a lot of the day doing housework, and I've been doing spending a lot of the day doing cooking, and I've been spending a lot of day doing lots of other things. And there's some things that I'm having to practice at because I'm not very good at them yet because I don't spend all my time doing them like I do right now. So like, for instance, I tried to cook something the other day and it didn't quite come out the way I wanted it to. It tasted okay, but it wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be. So I'm going to try it again. I'm going to try it again probably next week sometime and see if I can do something a little different and make it better. So, but it made me think of something that I get reminded of a lot. A lot, probably more than I want to be reminded about it. But there is something that I, that it, that, that, that cooking reminded me of, and it's that I'm not perfect, no, I'm not, I'm not perfect, but I've got just what I've got, and I do my very best, I do my very best, I do my very best each day. couch next to me, this ball of fur, is Eve. You have heard me talk about Eve before at school 
So that's her. Thank you. That is Eve. Um, she is our little kitty. And she would probably disagree with me that she's not perfect. Because she's pretty sure she is. So she, uh, we call her our little princess. There she is, the big fluff. Oh, see, I just got her dirty. Now she's got to clean up. <laughs> Every time you pet her, she, oh, you got your human stuff on me. I've got to wash it off. Is that right? Okay. Now, before I let you go, I have a book that I would like to share with you. It is called What the Moon Sees by Nancy Tafuri. Now, there's an animal on this book, and it sort of looks like Eve. Do you think, Eve, does it look like you? She's not interested at all in this. So, um, my mother-in-law, Pat, gave me this book. And um, I thought it would be nice to share it with you. Um, and this is one of those cool double-sided books where on this side we read what the moon sees. And if we flip it over, we see what the sun sees. But I think today we're going to read what the moon sees because I think the sun is going down so we don't really know what the sun sees right now. So we're going to look and see what the moon sees because the moon's going to be coming up pretty soon. So um, so this will be things that we see maybe at, the, at nighttime, I think. Right? As if the moon is up and seeing it. So let's see what this book has to say about it. The moon sees bright stars. The moon sees quiet barnyards. We have our barn here. We have a goose sleeping with his nose tucked in his feathers. We have a sheep over here. We have the big cow in the back in the window and a puppy dog. And oh, there's a chicken up there on the haystack and a mouse up here. The mouse is not asleep. That's because mice are nocturnal. They like to be awake at night. The moon sees hooting owls. Mr. Scott has a hooting owl around his house here. You can hear him out in the backyard sometimes if you're up really, really late at night. The moon sees empty streets. The moon sees silent playgrounds. Silent, that means there's no sound. Because there's no kids on there when the moon's out, right? The moon sees sleeping children. That's you. Maybe not right now, but sooner or later. And the moon watches until the sun comes up. That's the end. Now the other half of this book is what the sun sees. Maybe we can read that one in maybe tomorrow or in a day or two. So, what the moon sees. Now we know what the moon sees when it's up at night, and we're not. So what's really funny about this, though, is right now, since we're all having to stay at home so much, we're seeing some of these things during the daytime, like empty streets and things like that. Now there are some people out and about, and we need to be really careful if we're out and about because we don't want to get sick right now. That's why we're all having to stay home and look after each other and take care of each other because we don't really we don't want to get sick when we get when it's time for school to open back up we all want to be healthy and strong so so but we sometimes right now it's really strange to if you're outside to see empty streets in the middle of the day but that's just part of what we're doing right now is we're mm -hmm. having to get through all that kind of stuff so i would um i'm glad that you are stopping by to say hi to me even though I can't really see you and it makes me so sad so but I'm but I'm gonna keep on putting on up videos and we'll read some books we'll sing some more songs we might do some science 
You never know what at all we might do. We might do some art, some things you can do at home maybe. So um, until the next time I see you, me and Eve, she's not happy about being manhandled right now, but she loves me even though she acts like she doesn't. Love you guys, and I will talk to you soon. (laughs) Bye-bye.